Hello everyone. Uh, today I would like to show you how to properly copy the files with firmware or with the maps onto the SD card. I am decided to record that video because I received lots of emails from you that you have the problem with installation and the mostly there is the problem because the files has been wrongly copied onto the SD card. I am recording that video on my Hackintosh because I don't have uh, access to the Windows machine, but I strongly recommend you that to make this, all these operations on the uh, Windows-based computer. Right, if you bought the firmware for my website and you downloaded it, it will be looks like that. There is the file name that zip, which means that the zip archives. When you unzip that file, you will see loads of other folders which contain the firmware and then you have to go to the root folder of SD card so that's the main folder when you get in there and just simply select all folders and copy onto the SD card also that SD card has to be formatted as FAT32 like you can see here and the maximum capacity of card must be 32 gigs right when you uh, get the maps from my website they might looks like that there is loads of the files with 7z extension which means that the 7 zip archives to unzip that uh, that files you need the 7 zip application which you can download from 7zip.org just simply download install and then you can just unzip your files and here you can see the map update folders and files and it's the same procedure like with the firmware when you unzip you get that all these files just simply drag and drop onto your SD card mostly there is the problem when you just unzip the files and you're trying to copy that all folder onto SD card but it will not be working because the MMI can't read the files from that folder. All the firmware must be on the root. Right, now all files looks like being copied onto the SD card. Now you have to just unplug your computer and you can start uh, the update pr procedure. And why not using the Mac OS to, to copy the files? Because it's creating loads of hidden files. Like you see, now, I now show you the hidden files. And because of that hidden files, the MME might be confused and uh, update procedure will not be completed all right i hope that, that video will help you with uh, update procedure if you have any questions just send me an email or do a comment under this video thanks